Good morning, it's Tuesday, September 25th, and boy, do I need a haircut. I don't know about all that, it looks fine to me. This past weekend, I played a gig where I was treated, not badly per se, but at least a little awkwardly. Uh, I left the gig feeling just a little bit weird. And so in honor of that experience, I thought I would cover all the ways I get treated as a musician by the people who hire me. Now the best gigs are the ones where people treat you like a friend or a partner. They know you're just trying to make a reasonable amount of money and have a positive musical experience. On the other hand, you know that they have goals of their own, whether that be to keep people on the dance floor and sell a bunch of beer, or just have a memorable wedding, birthday party, whatever. In these situations, both parties are usually more than willing to accommodate the other, and everybody ends up having a fantastic time. Now, just below being treated like a friend or a partner is being treated like an artist. In these situations, the person who hired you is so fascinated by your musical ability that they go out of their way to make special accommodations for you. Now, normally this is great, but it gets a little awkward on some of the more corporate gigs. And here's your dressing room, Mr. Dinner. We hope that we've created an environment that will allow you to fully tap into your artistic potential. Yeah, yeah, thanks a lot. This, this contract, though, it says you just want me to play Margaritaville over and over again for three hours? Yes, but with talents such as yourself, we want you to be able to express yourself while doing it. The baseline standard is being treated like an employee, and I'm perfectly fine with this, as technically I am at work when I'm playing music. If you hired me to play a set from 8 to 9 p.m., it is well within your rights to come over at 8.05 and ask me why I'm not playing yet. Now keep in mind that if you decide to treat me like an employee, I'm going to decide to treat you like a boss and expect things like timely pay and safe working conditions. You would be amazed what people expect us to put up with as musicians. Now we get into the unacceptable treatments, the first of which is being treated like hired help. This is basically being treated like an employee, with the exception that the person who hired you utterly disdains the people they hire. Excuse me, sir, were you just smelling this food? Uh, I, I can smell this food, is that your question? Sir, these aromas are for guests only. I'm gonna have to ask you to refrain from smelling any additional food. Next we have being treated like a customer. Some bars are so concerned about every last penny that they go out of their way to treat band members as poorly as they treat their regular customers. Hey, can I just get a Diet Coke? Uh, yeah, sure man, that'll be two bucks. Uh, I'm with the band? Oh, oh, you're with the band? In that case, it's three bucks. I mean, come on, we're all on the same team here. When I go out to play, I only want the same thing that everybody else wants. I want to have a pleasant experience, and I want to be treated with respect. Also keep in mind that the better I feel, the better I'm going to play, and the better show I'm going to be able to put on. I'll also be more likely to take requests from the audience, no matter how silly they seem. Hey, hang on, hey, can you guys just play Santa Ria, like, one more time? Just one more time, hang on. Just... Just play Santa Maria again. I love it. It's my favorite song. So if you're ever in a position to hire musicians, please be nice to them. We're people too, after all. And now on to this week's Things of Note. I'm playing Friday night at the Roots and Heritage Festival at Falling Springs Recreation Center in Versailles, Kentucky. Uh, this guy's gonna play at a Roots and Heritage Festival? I know, right? I'll be playing with DJ Rice and I think we start around 8 p.m. Coincidentally, you can also see my brother Roger play at the Falling Springs Center this weekend. He'll be performing in Woodford Theater's production of Lucky Stiff. Two ditters in the same place at the same time, not playing the same thing. On Saturday, I'm playing a wedding at the Buffalo Trace Distillery, which is going to be my last performance before I get married there myself the following weekend. Like always, you can't come to the wedding unless you are invited, but if you're in the mood to hear some blues, please come out to Versailles on Friday. Okay, that's all for this week. If I don't see you on Friday, I'll see you next Tuesday, and thanks for watching. I poured a Bud Light into a glass for my art. So, cheers.